Hi, welcome to another Max tutorial. This is tutorial number six, setting up a MIDI controller. So here we are with a nice new project in Ableton Live. And admittedly, this is Ableton 9, and the, most of us have moved to Ableton 10, but uh, it's all pretty much the same. Today, I'm really just going to show how you hook up a controller and how you connect it to things. So here we go. Um, I have hooked up this lovely M Audio Oxygen 49 over here to my uh, computer by way of a USB cord. I am not going to show you how to plug in the USB cord. On a Macintosh, you don't need to install drivers, so that's not an issue either. I cannot say about a PC. So my keyboard's plugged in by way of USB and we have our project open so let's just bring up the preferences. I always type command plus comma and the preferences come up and we go right on over to link and MIDI and what we're interested in here now is to see down here the input from the oxygen. So we want to turn on the track and we also want to turn on the remote. I will tell you why in a little while, but then we can also turn, uh, this is optional really, uh, some surfaces have feedback. You can scroll down here and also turn the um, on the MIDI out and on the remote out if it makes any difference, which eh, I don't really believe it does in this case. So I'm going to leave them off just to avoid having any sort of interference. So that's pretty much it for that part. So, so let me just be clear here. The input for the track is going to be for things that are like notes like playing notes, like that note we just heard. And then remote is going to be for things um, that we call like control messages for moving stuff around. So we have them both turned on and let's just close this window. Now, we'll come over here to the first MIDI track. Let's go get an instrument to put in that track. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is, but uh, Let's, uh, since it's a piano, let's pretend it's still a piano. So, um, uh, and we'll just keep it a grand piano for the moment, okay? Just keeping it simple. There we go. So here's our grand piano. And then if you tune in right here to the input output section of your track, um, if you don't have that showing, go over here and click on this button here for I.O. That is what shows you all the things that are coming in and out. Okay, um, there's other buttons here that you can experiment for, for the moment. Um, there we go. Uh, uh, reverb, sends, etc. And uh -huh. see, you can click all sorts of things in and out. None of these you'll need to know what they are. Today, I.O. It's I.O. day. So we'll come over here and it says MIDI from now, with Ableton, you can play from your computer keyboard. So having all ins here is very handy because um, you can just click on your keyboard. I'm sorry, I'm clicking on my keyboard and um, I can play it. But if I don't want just anything going willy nilly in here, I'm going to select the exact thing to come in. And there it is. Look, Oxygen 49 coming in. Now when I play my keyboard, you can see it is actually coming in over here. There's no instrument over here. But you can see it coming in over here. It is not coming in here. We'll leave all channels open and um, proceed to see if our keyboard's working. So now I'm just going to come over here and uh, look at that. It's so easy I can barely stand it.
very nice. So we've hooked up the keyboard in the most simple way and I'm just going to disarm this and show you something. If you notice, now it's not making any sound. If the track is not armed, it's not going to make any sound. So how to get this into a position where you can record is to arm the track. Very nice. Now you may notice on this particular keyboard we also have some drum pads. Alright, now let's suppose I want to play the piano and I don't necessarily um, well, and, and the drums. I'm, I can actually play with two hands, which I can't in real life, but let's say I could. Um, now I might want to even specify things further. Let's, let's pick this next track here, our number two MIDI track, and um, we'll go get some drums. Hello drums. Drums. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. There's instruments and there's a drum rack, but then here's the drums up here. So you have all these different nice kits here. We'll just uh, um, choose a simple one and start. So drag down a drum kit here. There you go. And since we have this track armed now, we're not going to hear the piano. So now if we play the keys on the piano, But that's not what we really want to see. What we really want to see is these things. Okay, so that's going to be our, our plan. So how can we set that up so that we can end up with the drums over here and just the piano over here? Well, that's where your selection is going to come in. I'm going to set this also to the oxygen 49 because they both come in from the oxygen. But in this case, we know that the drums will come in on channel 10. How do we know that? Years of experience! And I can also check it in max. I'll show you how to do that someday, but not today. Just trust me, it comes in on channel 10. And then we are going to select channel 1, which is kind of the standard channel for um, MIDI to come in on, and we'll just check and see if it works. Now, it is probably possible to assign different channels to these things on the keyboard, but by default, I'm going to assume it's set up for channel 1 on the keys and channel 10 on the drums. So now we'll go and check our keys are not making any noise on the drums, but yeah, okay, there we go. I keep getting carried around, carried away, uh, dreaming I'm a drummer. So, in order to play both, we'll also have to have both of them armed. Oh no! Every time I click one, the other won't arm. We can take care of that by holding down, oops, sorry, holding down the command key. There we go. On an Apple. Uh, what key is that on a PC? I don't know, but there is another way to overcome it. If you, if you don't know, on a PC, and uh, I believe it's then you have to hold down control, but I'm not sure. Um, but if you go back to the preferences, um, somewhere in here is the uh, exclusive, exclusive arm, and you can turn that off, and then we're going to put this away. 
you'll notice that now we can turn on and off whatever we want. I'm going to arm everything. Everything's armed. Hey! Cool, huh? So if you turn off the arm exclusive, you can just go around arming everything you want. So let's just arm these two and see if, <coughs> if we have the ability now. Yes, we can play the piano. Uh, I don't mean we can play the piano. I mean we can make the piano sound. Okay. And that is how you do it, and also how you prove that people who are really just uh, giving lessons about Ableton Live should not play musical instruments. Or at least some of them shouldn't. I only include myself in there. So, um, that is how you uh, separate your notes and bring them into tracks. And I will get on to other messages in another video. Until then, patch well, and I'll see you next time.